Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let us now discuss one advanced data structures which is trees. Okay, we are having different types of data structures to store the data. What is the main purpose of data structures? Data structures are nothing but the way of organizing the data in a computer. Organizing means storing of data and then retrieval of data. One such type of data structures that computer supports is trees which is a non-linear data structures. It comes into the category of non-linear data structures. So tree is a hierarchical data structure which stores the information naturally in the form of hierarchy style. So what is the meaning of hierarchy style in the form of levels? One level after another level. In this way the data will be stored in trees. Next point, tree is one of the most powerful and advanced data structures. Okay. And it comes under the, as already told, it comes under the category of non-linear data structures compared to arrays, linked lists, stack and queue. These arrays, linked lists, stack and queue, they comes under the category of linear data structures. Whereas trees as well as the graphs, both will come under the category of non-linear data structures. And the next point, it represents the nodes connected by edges. So a tree consists of two things, nodes okay and then they are connected with edges okay now we will discuss how, what is the structure of a tree how the tree will look like okay so let me erase this first so this is a structure of a tree now first so how the tree holds the data a tree will hold the data in the form of this structure. So what is this contains? It consists of these circles. You know, these circles are nothing but these are the nodes. Okay, we call them as nodes. So these are the nodes in the tree. And what we call edges, these are the edges. So as you can see here, how the data is stored in the tree in a hierarchical order. So this is first level, second level, third level and fourth level. So we totally we are having four levels here in this tree. So this is, this is one level, this is another level, this is another level and this is the last level. Okay. Like this it is holding the data in the form of levels. And the top, these are a circular, whatever the things you are seeing in the form of circles, they are known as the nodes. And these lines are the edges. Now, the topmost node in any tree is known as the root node. So, this node is the root node. Okay. And every node can have child nodes also. So, you can see here this is the root node and it is also parent node. It is having two child nodes. One is B, another one is C. Again, B is a parent node. Again, it is having three child nodes. One is D, E, and F. And E is having one child node H. Now, what is the meaning of sibling nodes here? You can see here. If the nodes belong to the same parent, B and C, they belong to same parent node A. That's why B and C are known as siblings. Similarly, D, E, F, they are also known as the sibling nodes. Why we are calling them sibling? Because they belong to same parent B. Okay. Now, the next question is, what is a leaf node here? You can see here. Okay. So, how many leaf nodes are there in this tree? So, a leaf node is nothing but a node which is not having any further child nodes. So, here you can see here G is not having any child nodes here. That's why G is a leaf node. Not only G is there in this tree but also this D, next H and F. They are also the leaf nodes available here because they are not having any child nodes and one more important term thing that we need to understand in tree terminology is a tree this is a tree it can consist of subtrees also you can see here this is a subtree okay because again here parent node is there again the parent node is having d e of child nodes again e is having one child node h so this will become one subtree which consists of in this tree okay so dear students this is how the data will be stored in a tree. This is the structure of a tree. So a tree consists of two important things. One is nodes, another one is edges or links. So with this, let me close my today's session of video. See you soon everybody. 
टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़